The cutting room, though, was right here. The inside of the Animal Industries building has gone through major renovations over the years. But the story of an accident in the basement that left a man dead has stood the test of time. Allegedly what uh, was happening, he was skinning uh, bacon, so the bellies with the uh, skin still attached. And he was pulling this knife towards him and it slipped and that's when it went down into his femoral artery. Meat locker room foreman Roy Sims died in the cutting room back in 1959. I just knew him really from working. Uh, in, the, in the meats lab, Selma, and he was always very friendly and, and so forth. Dwayne Kramer wasn't on campus at the time of the accident, but his friend, Mac Prescott, remembers it well. He t tells that uh, his colleague uh, came up the stairs into his office and he was white as a sheet and said, uh, Roy has just bled to death down in the meats lab. By the time Jeff Sable arrived on campus in 1972, Sims' accident had led to more safety measures and lots of spooky stories. A lot of the noise you would hear me back in this area, right back in here, because that was like a lot of the equipment, a lot of the compressors, a lot of the, those type things like that. Sable knows the equipment noises add to the spooky atmosphere, but he doesn't think that accounts for everything. You'd be somewhere in the back doing something and you'd hear that door and so you'd say, well, there's somebody down here, and you come, and there's nobody. Even as we were finishing this story, something out of the ordinary happened. Without a story, oh, scary. there we Not go. <laughs> there we go. See a lot. Mr. Sims may have cut the light off. <laughs> it's these strange happenings that keep this Aggie legend alive. I talked to one of my colleagues the other day about this and, and said, well, what do you think? And he said, I don't believe in ghosts, but there's something creepy about the meat lab. He said, if you see any ghosts, Give him my regards, and I would say that if, if Roy is a ghost, he's certainly a friendly one. In College Station, Courtney Burris, News 3.